Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Better Know a Highway here on Virtual Road Trip, a series where we take a closer look at the highways and interstates that cross this great country of ours. In this video we have our first double feature. Yes, that's right, two interstate highways in two separate parts of the country with the same number designation. There's actually quite a few of these within the interstate system, and I'm not exactly sure why, as there are several unused numbers between 1 and 100 that could have been used, but that's the way it was set up, and so we're going to take a look at it. So let's get started. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you, as always, to please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I always appreciate that. And make sure to check out the link for the VRT Discord in the description below for some interesting conversation and updates as well. And uh, most importantly, sit back and enjoy. Let's start with the eastern version of I-88, which is an intrastate highway, meaning existing in only one state, within the central part of New York. It runs for approximately 117 miles in a northeast to southwest orientation, connecting the capital region around Albany, New York, to the city of Binghamton, New York, in the state's southern tier, as well as providing access for several other small cities and towns in the upstate New York region. Starting at the eastern end, I-88 begins at a junction with I-90 and the New York State Thruway, just outside of Schenectady, New York. It heads southwest, leaving the capital district, and heading into the more rural areas of central New York. A short time later, 88 reaches the Copleskill, New York area, a mid-sized town along the Copleskill Creek. The highway provides access to the town itself, as well as the local state university and the nearby Howe Caverns, a large cave complex popular with tourists. Once past this area, I-88 snakes through the rural countryside. Dotted with many small farms and the occasional town, and closely paralleling New York State Route 7, which was the original thoroughfare through this region before the interstate was built. The two roads traveled together for 88's entire length and intersect many times. Near the halfway mark, the next population center is the city of Oneonta, New York, which itself has its own state university and downtown area that access the highway directly. It's here that I-88 begins traveling along the Susquehanna River, following the valley it cuts for the rest of its journey. 88 has junctions with other major New York State routes, 23 and 28, the latter providing access to nearby Cooperstown, New York. Once past Oneonta, 88 continues southwest and back into the rural countryside. Passing towns such as Sydney, Unadilla, and Bainbridge, New York, it closely follows the Susquehanna, crossing it several times and turning more due west as it eventually reaches the Binghamton, New York area. I-88 never actually reaches Binghamton, however, as it terminates just to the north at a junction with the major north-south running Interstate 81, which does pass through the city, ending its 117-mile run much the way it started. Now let's move west to the other version of I-88, this one also being an intra-state highway, existing solely in the state of Illinois. Running for 140 miles, 88 connects the Chicago metropolitan area with the Quad Cities region along the Mississippi River, as well as several other smaller cities along the way. The eastern half of 88 is tolled, and known locally as the Ronald Reagan Tollway, with the western half being freeway. Starting in the east, I-88 begins in the western Chicago suburbs at a cloverleaf junction with I-290, a major spur that heads east towards the downtown core. Traversing the suburban landscape, 88 provides access to cities such as Naperville, Aurora, and eventually, DeKalb. Shortly after this, it has a major junction with the north-south running I-39 which provides a direct link to the city of Rockford, Illinois, to the north. Now entering the rural landscape of central Illinois, the next significant stop is the town of Dixon, 
This is the location of the last tolled section of I-88, and from here, it continues on as a freeway, while also making a slight turn to the southwest. After another roughly 50 miles, I-88 reaches its final destination, the Quad Cities of Illinois and Iowa. However, much like its New York counterpart, 88 never actually reaches the cities as it terminates just to the east at a cloverleaf junction with I-80, ending its 140 mile trek. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Better Know a Highway. I hope you enjoyed the first double feature video we'll have on this channel. There's quite a few more of those to go. Uh, we have a, few, a bunch more highways in general to go on, in this series, and I really hope to be uh, getting more episodes out much quicker in the near future. Uh, we'll see you know, what life allows. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Uh, make sure to check out the Discord link in the description below for, as I always say, interesting conversation, as long as we get some more people in there, and uh, updates and announcements as well. So, with that being said, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy the ride, and up next, my hometown highway, Interstate 87. I'll see you then.